I think infertility is much more common than you think. At least 15 to 20 percent of couples in reproductive age will have difficulty conceiving. Well, the classic definition of infertility is when a couple's been sexually active for a year without contraception, they're considered to have difficulty conceiving. There's been a little modification recently, and that is couples where the woman's 35 or older who've been sexually active for six months, they're considered to have infertility. Actually, uh, the chance of conceiving starts declining even in the 20s and starts a significant decline at around 32. So clearly women beyond 35 each year makes it more difficult for them to conceive and all the more reason for them to be seen. It's a little bit of like a catch-22. It's harder to get pregnant, it takes longer to get pregnant, and you're older, and, it's, and so all of those added together says get in and be seen, don't delay. I think uh, hundreds of years ago, everyone got pregnant in their teenage years and 20s, and maybe they didn't even live to be 40 or 45 years old. Now, women are delaying childbearing for good reasons. Find the right guy, get the education, maybe get the job, get the career established, and by the time they say, okay, we're ready, they're in their 40s, and it may be too late. A lot of couples will visit with their obstetrician gynecologist when they're having uh, trouble conceiving. We think it's always a good idea to come see a reproductive endocrinologist because it's going to be very focused, the diagnosis and the treatment, streamlined to get you to that uh, point faster. So we think it's a good idea to see a reproductive endocrinologist when you know you've had a problem.